So, micro lesson, right, just to build on what you're talking about with uh, with pricing. Again, I agree. In terms of going out, you can take all kinds of like systems and talk to people who are going to put formulas into it. The best pricing I ever uh, advice I ever got was from an old school entrepreneur who had a self storage business, and he said, "Chris, the best way to price is to first charge the most frictionless price that you can." And I was selling websites, and I was, so it was five hundred bucks. But he said, "My strategy has always been." And this guy guy owned hundreds of companies. He said, just double the price until you lose a sale. This is very sophisticated, but, but it, it actually worked. So it started doubling the price, doing the same work, the same amount of time, and eventually I was selling, and so any mathematicians in here will tell me this is not how the math works, but this is what I remember from 20 years ago. I went from like $500 for my work to $50,000, $60,000 for my work within one year. And then he said, as soon as you lose a contract, wait two months and then start doubling. And so <laughs> you'll learn more stuff, you'll get more value. And by the time we were done, we were selling the same thing for $500,000 that we'd been selling for 500, but it also helped us to shift our market at the same time. Yeah. So that's one example. Another quick example of that is a company that I've been coaching through the Ignite Up program, and he was out selling his, uh, his uh, service package that he does for a thousand bucks, and he was really saying, I'm not making any money, how do I turn this into a real business? To your, you had your three-tier pricing model. So I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, we'll sell what you've got right now for 20,000 bucks. What? It's not possible. Make, go make me a package that costs $500,000. I don't even know, I don't care. Like, come back and tell, convince me that you will sell me something for $500,000. Then come up with one that's 150, and then we have the 20, you know, 25 thousand dollar one that we'll have. And so present all three. And his next sale that he did was for 60 thousand dollars. Right? Oh. How the pricing was presented and the psychology yeah. of which one. You know, you're even sending a message sometimes when you're pricing too low. That you know, if I went to a big retail enterprise client right now, and I pitched them and said, you know, my my implementation package is like 500 bucks and it's like, you know, whatever per month, I would yes, freak them out. They wouldn't yeah. even think I knew what I was doing or I could possibly service the, service the marketplace. Yeah. So some of that is like just that kind of practical figuring it out and kind of, you know, what will people pay yeah. and then adjust uh, as it goes on. Well, Jimmy, thank you.